Well, Derek Chauvin's guilty verdict has sparked reaction from civil rights activists around the world, among them Martin Luther King uh, III, who joins us now. Uh, thanks for joining us on Sky News this morning. First of all, I guess, how, how significant a moment do you believe this is for the United States? So I think that it certainly is an extraordinary uh, significant moment because uh, this has never happened uh, where an officer has been charged and there have been officers convicted from time to time, but this is extraordinarily significant. All charges uh, that he was accused of, he was convicted of, uh, which means that maybe we can start anew, but there are a long, a long, we have a long, long way to go. This is really just uh, the beginning in a real sense. There's so much talk today about the, the change that needs to happen. What, what do you think would represent concrete change out of all of the talk today? What, what do you think uh, America needs to see as a result of what happened today? I would hope that the United States Senate would pass the George Floyd Policing Act, which is, again, just one step, but it's one significant step because uh, it disallows policemen to use uh, the chokehold and and there are other pieces of things in that legislation. Uh, I think, though, we have to overall take a look at policing in all communities across our nation, and particularly communities, the uh, policing as it relates to the black community and to the brown community, because uh, there are serious problems in how policing occurs. In the black community, policing is over, there's over policing, and the reaction. Uh, people are not treated with dignity and respect. People are not treated like they want to be treated. They treat people very, very poorly in many cases. And that has to be addressed. Uh, and that has to happen through uh, city councils, through mayors, through, uh, uh, through um, you know, through uh, the, the, the state and the policing authorities. Uh, so this is, a, this really is a, it's, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. What do you think the message is to, to police departments, to law enforcement, to the judiciary uh, around America as a result of, of what happened in court? What I hope is that this is, was not an action against police. This was an action against one individual who handled a situation um, that became fatal unnecessarily. Uh, and so it was barbaric. It was inhumane. It was insensitive. It was it was final uh, for George Floyd uh, so tragically. My hope, though, is the message that is sent is that you're going to be held accountable for what you do. Uh, there are body cameras now that police have to wear. Uh, so everything is captured from that perspective, as well as their individuals with smartphones who are capturing. And uh, usually police are not held accountable. So I think if, if we are able to ensure that, yes, you're going to be held accountable, perhaps it may begin uh, a method of policemen treating people differently. Of course, your father famously preached nonviolence. We've seen a peaceful celebration in Minneapolis tonight. No sign of, of anything like we saw uh, uh, last year after the death of George Floyd by way of a reaction. What have you made of, of the reaction across the country to, to the verdict today? I think people, first of all, were relieved, um, you know, just generally relieved. I, I had something strange to happen um, in our home when the first uh, verdict, uh, the, the judge read the first verdict is guilty, um, our doors began to, one of the doors in our home just started rattling. It, it's, it's weird. It was almost like the spirit of my father and mother were here saying, okay, we're moving in the right direction. This is good. Um, it had not, you know, shaken before then. But, I, uh, but, but getting back to the nation, I think uh, relief, uh, people felt, really positive. People felt that maybe they can begin to have faith in the system again, because people have lost faith. Black people have lost faith because the system historically does not work uh, for the black and brown uh, and communities of color. 
We have to look, as always, at the political climate in, in Washington. Do you sense that there's a different tone? Obviously, there's a different president now from, from when George Floyd died. Do you sense that the political climate is right to see that change happen, or is it just more gridlock like everything else? Well, I hope so, but I do not know. Um, I am hopeful, but I am not, I don't feel that, oh, wow, this is one incident that is going to cause Congress to automatically uh, just begin to work with each other and cause enough votes to support the George Floyd Act. Uh, there shouldn't even be any questions about it passing. But unfortunately, that is just not the case. Um, I haven't heard any of the reactions of our Republican friends. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. It's, it's the early hours where you are. I know it's the early hours here in Minneapolis. What do you think America will wake up to tomorrow? Do you think there will be a confidence that things will change? Uh, the, the, the Attorney General here said this is accountability in one case. For, for justice to happen, it needs to be everyone in the United States. Do you, do you sense that will come and America will confront that moment now? What I sense is that can come. I don't have a sense yet until we see whether or not there's an action after this particular action, and, and, and actually not just an action, many acts, have several actions to address, you know, systematic institutional racism uh, in policing, to address the fact that you need police from the community that they police so they are stakeholders, they have a vested interest in how uh, the policing takes place, so that you have more citizen review boards and no um, you know, re resistance to that, so that you have, um, you know, uh, more psychological evaluations that are more in depth, because we have to d understand who it is that we are being, who are being hired, what kind of police are being hired. Uh, so there's a wholesale review that has to be done. Um, and I think we're just going to have to wait to see. I, I'm, I think this was a good first step. But we got a long, long way to go. Martin Luther King III there in Atlanta. Thanks very much for joining us.